What is going on guys, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be checking out here a very cool little drone that I picked up directly from my local retail store, which is Best Buy. And this one happened to be the only one available. This thing was available at Best Buy directly about a week ago. So I went there three days after and they still had one available. So again, I'm very, very lucky because normally drones, they sell just like smartphones. They become out of stock very quickly. And if that was the case, I had to wait a couple of days, which I really hate to wait. So again very very lucky here and this is called the unique mantis q i think this drone is mainly intended to compete with the spark by dji i gotta say guys that this thing is quite impressive in many different ways first and foremost as we can tell here from this box it comes with a 4k sensor 13 megapixels also we get a 33 minute lasting battery i think it's a 2800 million battery 11.1 volts uh, we get now voice control features yes you can tell this thing to take off by just using your voice and it'll actually take off and the same thing goes for landing which is something that i've never seen on any drone before next we got here instant social sharing so you can share directly from the application whatever you recorded you can have it shared instantly now that we have seen in the past before we have vision based tracking, which is basically follow me mode. We have seen that in the past and finally return to home. And here, if we look on the back side, other than well, the manuals and some little booklets that are included inside, we get the drone. Then after this, we get the transmitter. We have some spare parts inside, which are the propellers. We get the battery charger. Now with this battery charger, you can charge up to three batteries at the same time. Now included, it is only one battery so it comes attached to the drone if you guys want extra batteries you have to purchase them separately then we get the power supplies and the adapter and finally the usb cable and that's pretty much all we get inside of the box as you guys can appreciate so again here they are giving us some of the features we had the voice control we had the vision based tracking which again is like a follow me we have return to home and geofencing which is also known as um, orbit mode which is really cool and then here we have more details about the battery and whatnot. Like I mentioned before, it is a 2800 milliamp battery, um, able to record in 4K, 1080p, 720p. Now keep in mind that in 4K, you will lose the electronic image stabilization. With 1080p, you will have electronic image stabilization as well as with 720p. So here again, we have the beauty, which is the Mantis Q. Look how tiny this thing is, guys. My hand is a little bit bigger than the actual drone, which is amazing. Amazing. And yes, it does have, as you can appreciate, that foldable design. So to unfold it, you must do the rear arms first. And then we move along here the front arms. So very, very easy to do. And of course, here we have the battery to detach it. We have two buttons on each side. Make sure that you press it and just pull it towards you. And this is basically all you have to do. So here we can, again, appreciate the battery capacity. It's actually 11.4 volts. I think I mentioned this before, or actually I said 11.1. I do apologize for that. But it is a 2800 milliamp battery able to last up to, I would say at least 30 minutes. It never goes to the max, which is 33 minutes. And yes, guys, this is a very cool little battery here. And of course, here we have the dock station, which again, you can charge three batteries at the same time. And all you have to do is just place it on top. It'll turn a green light. It'll be blinking when it's charging. And once the charge has completed, it'll actually beep and leave the light here solid green. And that's how you can tell that it has been fully charged. So very easy and convenient to use. Then on the side of the drone, we have the USB Type-C port. We have the micro SD card slot. It comes with one included, so you don't have to worry about purchasing one immediately in case you guys don't have one around. Then here on the bottom side, we have some sensors for landing purposes, some vents for cooling purposes. And then here we have the 13 megapixel camera able to record in 4K 30 frames per second. Keep in mind, guys, that if you do record with 4K at 30 frames per second, the electronic image stabilization will be disabled. So your video is going to look a little bit jumpier, especially if there's a lot of wind outside and you don't have a smooth flight. You will definitely notice the difference between 1080p with electronic image stabilization and of course the 4k recording it'll be dramatically different so anyways here we have the transmitter as you guys can appreciate it is a very very simple transmitter nothing really crazy going on here we have the sports mode button 
which will allow you to go up to 44 miles per hour, which is really nice. We have the return to home uh, button right here. On the top, you have the recording button. We have the picture button. Now this one here uh, doesn't appear to be doing much on the drone. Maybe you haven't uh, read the manuals properly, but from my testing, it doesn't do anything. This one here is for the camera so that you can move it upwards or downwards, which is really cool. Then here we have the two antennas and Underneath the antennas, we had the USB Type-C for charging purposes. And this is the USB port so that you can connect your smartphone into the transmitter and use it with the application. On the back here, we have a speaker, um, which is really nice. And uh, I think this is also for cooling purposes. And it comes with an integrated rechargeable battery. And here, we have the mechanism for your smartphone so you can hold it. And inside here, well, this time you get the battery indicator. Right now, my transmitter is fully charged, as you guys can appreciate, as well as the Wi-Fi um, light right here. And this is the power key, and that's pretty much all we get here for the transmitter. To get the Mantis Q all set up and ready to go, make sure that, first of all, you download the application to either iOS or Android, and it is called Unique Pilot. So now at this point, you want to go ahead and grab your transmitter and place either your iPhone or Android device on the transmitter itself. Make sure that you use caution with this because I already dropped my iPhone 10X Max. And then of course, we're going to need here the lightning cable. And now you're basically done. Let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Now we turn on the drone by holding the power button for about two seconds. Let's click on this button right here and now you're going to see everything live. And there we go, guys. So there we have the camera of the drone. There is a uh, software update. For now, I'm just going to cancel it. So here we have the application on the upper right-hand side corner. Even though we are inside of the house, it is already locking a GPS, which is really cool. You must be at at least 10 just to be on the safe side. That's why we have that yellow color right there. We have the transmitter signal, the transmitter battery, and the drone battery. We are at 98%. But anyways, guys, now that we know how to use the drone, let's go to the park, fly this baby, and see how well it does. So now that we got the whole drone set up and ready to go, the first thing I want to test here is the voice recognition. For this, I'm going to give it the command to take off. So let me go ahead and press here on the mic. Take off. Take off, please confirm. Confirm. Take off now. And there it is. Land. Land. Land, please confirm. Confirm. So everything, as you guys can appreciate, is working as intended, which is really nice. So now we're going to be testing the range of the drone and see exactly how far we can get with it. So let's get started. So now as you guys can appreciate, I am recording at 1080p because of the fact that all well, this video has been downscaled to 1080p and also as you guys know with uh, 4k i will lose the electronic image stabilization so for that reason i am recording again at 1080p so here right now as you guys can see from the screen we are at 30 meters of height and the distance is at 17 approximately so let's go ahead and here very quickly test the camera moving it up and down real quick so far everything seems to be as promised this is very very exciting guys for the price it definitely competes with the DJI drones especially the spark I think this one in terms of range is a little bit better than the spark so right now we have it at 67 meters approximately of distance and about 100 meters in height so now let's go here and move forward i am attempting here to test the distance i'm not sure how well it's going to do the signal of the transmitter and the drone is questionable so this range guys could change depending on the area that you're flying at I'm going to put it on sports mode that way maybe we can get a little bit faster look at that guys almost 400 meters away from here you 
500 meters. Look at that, 600 meters. 700 meters. This is absolutely insane. And connection lost, as you guys can appreciate. So what I'm going to do at this point, well actually, as you guys can appreciate right there, it says go home. So that means that I maximized it to about 700 meters. The height is 107 meters, as you guys can appreciate, and it's basically just coming backwards now. I saw another video here on YouTube where the guy was able to go above 1,000 meters. I'm not sure how that person was able to do that. Maybe they had a signal booster that are currently available for these drones. My two antennas are in proper place right now. So, yes guys, I mean, it went quite far. I still can't see it up there in the skies right now. I can't even hear it. It's about... 200 meters away from us right now so I'm just hoping that it makes it back on time and of course we have some other great features on here like follow me we also have orbit all these features have been tested before so I so I'm starting to hear the drone bite now but I still can't see it guys it's right above me there we go now I can see it this is amazing guys, let's point straight down so that way you guys can see me right there. There's my recording with me and wow this is crazy. <laughs> let's go ahead and try to auto land. As a matter of fact at this point I'm going to use the GPS to see if it comes right back home. I already clicked on it and so far it seems to be quite accurate. As you guys can appreciate, and I'm not doing anything to make it land. So this is actually using the GPS. So there we go. It landed, I would say maybe two feet to three feet away from where it took from, but that's okay. So there we have it for the testing of the Mantis Q. And now getting back here from the park, I gotta say that I am quite impressed with the qualities of this drone right here, guys, especially on the battery side and the distance that I was able to go. I think those are the major strengths of this little drone right here. Now, the cons of it is that, well, first of all, we only have a one axis um, gimbal here, so it doesn't really provide a lot of uh, stabilization. Uh, second, it doesn't have crash avoiding sensors, so I was just waiting for those moments every time I got close to a tree like we do with DJI drones where it warns you about objects. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that with this drone right here. And that third, it doesn't have a battery indicator letting us know what's the charge on the battery itself you will have to turn it on and go to the application in order to get that information so those are the major three cons about this little drone everything else about it i do love guys it has uh, you know great voice features you guys saw that it works absolutely incredible it was almost instant and it is quite safe as well and overall i gotta give this at least an eight out of a ten so it all depends on what you guys um you know need in a drone this is definitely not a professional camera either this is just to get in the hobby and play with it i would consider it more like a maybe an expensive toy and that's all it is so with this being said guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about the mantis q don't forget to like this video click on the bell thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one.